Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Definitely not. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Hmm, but you don't talk too much, do you? Followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. It's not every day a fella from Bibb County goes off and kills a state senator, that's for sure. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You wanna know how I see it? Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Any of that seem important to me? All of it. That box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you drive yourself crazy. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella. Big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. He just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're all sitting. Officers are available for he's coming to once. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Well, Blabbermouth, let me tell you something. They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. This other time...
I need to drag myself out that window. I need to drag myself out that window. carry with these cuffs off. empty. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Ah! 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 
Hello? Anybody? Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. Hello? Something going on. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? an intruder or one of them these people might need more help than I do This place has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. a savannah area code but that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter three new messages message one left at 5:43 p.m hey sandra this is diana we're still in savannah uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Daddy? Huh? Hello? You need to be quiet.
Who is this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. No, I'm not. How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Man. Hi there. Did you kill it? Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Uh, I think so too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to get out of this neighborhood. It's not safe. We're less likely to be seen if we move at night. My parents might come home. We won't go far. We'll try to find shelter and come back here with others. That sounds good. But we can hide in my treehouse until then. It'll be a tough climb with this leg, but that's a good idea. Let's go. Stay close to me. Now let's stay quiet. We'll head out to the front yard and follow the road out of the neighborhood. Okay. It'll be okay. Stay near me, and we'll move as fast as we can. I found the bastard! Are we going to die? I don't know, I'm sorry. I... I... Stay down! Georgia State Patrol! Dude, he won't listen to that. I'll come quietly. 
There's a little girl here! Oh shit, you're not one of those things. Neither of us are. Wait, why'd you say you'd come quietly? I thought I was being arrested. Oh man, no shit. I'm sorry about that. My name's Sean. Sean Green. This is Andre. Officer Mitchell. Did you see any of those things? One of them just got our buddy Chet. I saw a lot in the forest, but that was a while ago. Yeah, one we're looking for is still in the neighborhood. Oh shit, you hurt your leg pretty bad. Look, help us find the thing that got our buddy, and we'll take you and your daughter down to my dad's farm to safety. You should be able to fix your leg up, too. I'm not a dad. I'm... Her babysitter. Her parents are out of town. Whoever you are, let's get a move on. We just were... Oh, shit! It's Chad! Let's go! Get to my car! Go! Say hi to your dad for me. Yeah. I'm sorry, Sean. Chet was a good dude. One of the best. Take care of you two. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I ran into Andre outside of Atlanta, and, uh, Chet, he got killed. No. You're kidding. Those things got him. Dad, I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry, Sean. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It's not too bad. Tough guy, huh? What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? I, I fell, trying to get away from one of those things. That's so. What type of danger has the girl seen? She's safe now. You're serious about taking care of her, then? What choice is there? House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, 
We gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. With what happened to your friend, maybe that's not a bad idea. It smells like... Shit. <gasps> I'm sorry, I shouldn't talk like that. That was a swear. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Hey, get up. <sighs> I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Where do parents name their kids Duck? We're from Fort Lauderdale. We were on our way back before things up and went bananas. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. You have such pretty hair. It gets lots of tangles. Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. We'll all be home soon. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Sean's still working on that fence. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that'd sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. 
I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... It's cool. Don't worry about it. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean, in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I think I've got it handled okay. As long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe. Sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See you. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon, with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? What are you getting at? Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Mind your own business. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. 
Oh, and trying to be less of an asshole would serve you just fine. Go! I'll get my gun! I'm okay, Pop. I'm okay. I can fix you, don't worry. We'll stitch you up. It, it almost... It almost got me, man. It, Lee tried to save me. I know, son. I... Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry! You tried to help him, but this piece of shit let him die. You don't need to say anything. You tried. Please, just go. Get out, and never come back! You've got that ride to make it if you want it. This is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Look! Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Fuck! We're trapped! <laughs> <laughs> take risks like this. And we can't just let people die, either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. Whoa, chill the fuck out, lady. 
We're just people trying to avoid those things, just like you. Don't come in here and swear at me. I'll say whatever I want if you start threatening these people. You'll have to excuse her. The hell he or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. You're a dumb, careless kid. I would too! In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. Shit. We let one in, you stupid shits. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no fight. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We'll get this kid out of here. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here. And none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Sit down. Well, that's it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and what homo parade? This one. <laughs> that's good. Little boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. Then get ready to deal with it, because that boy is bitten. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! You're right, man. That boy's a time bomb. Then it's settled. 